What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Clock Radio Speakers. I'm your co-host, Armand Wake Up. You can follow me on all social media at Armand Wake Up, A-R-M-O-N-D, Wake Up, all one word. More important than that, please, 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 please follow the official clock. Just go to the website, clockradiospeakers.com. Maybe you can follow Twitter if you want to. Not really. Um, as long as you are on the Patreon, you're good. And and subscribe yeah. to the if if you if you don't have five dollars a month, ten dollars a month, that's fine. Just go to the YouTube. We've got previous episodes there, or just subscribe to us on your your favorite podcast app. Yeah, and what is social media in twenty twenty four? We have this conversation every week. Yeah, you you know honestly, we've been doing a lot more with the Patreon chat. Um, so a lot of the back and forth I think we used to do on on Twitter or X, like now we've brought to yes Patreon chat. So yes, some of you guys that hit us up on the talk to us on Twitter about the show. That's great. But I'm encouraging you to come on over to the Patreon to the chat. The chat the chat is really dope. Yeah. Hey man, you got some bars <laughs> off in there. We we might we might need to wait on that. We might need to have like a like a this I'm assuming this is the free part. So a little later in the episode, we need to we need to have a I was like, are you alright man? We have I'm a little one on one. Okay. All right. I'm good. You know, I'm feeling my you know I'm feeling good. Okay. Feeling loose, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk. A, so yeah, you know, somebody get in there and, and just share something. This is dope. Or I don't like this. Or why is this a thing? And we have a, a coming together, a kumbaya, and everybody chimes in. And it's, it's great. It's great dialogue. Great, great, safe dialogue. I love it. That comes in with some, with some blazing hot takes. Blazing you know? hot takes. You had the, you had the Rambo. You had the, the bullet joint he was like Rrr. i said oh okay it's thursday <laughs> what was that doing when i wrote i forget <laughs> it's thursday like the middle of the week man you all right yeah but yeah man yeah yeah so i mean obviously doc is here because you yeah if you're on youtube or if you're on the patreon you see him he's here so what's up man what is up uh no man i mean it's very it's incredibly cold here it's so cold yes sir it's um, cold in, in the world. Like, like it, when I woke up this morning, you know, wind chill was minus one. I was like, oh, man. That's, that's like one of the main reasons. <clears throat> I've never been an animal lover, but like, that's one reason I'll never get a pet. Just that alone. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I, like, shout out to the first lady for, walk, for walking the dog this morning. I was on duty yesterday morning when it was cold. She was on duty this morning, which was good. Mm. So, you know, I talked about how I take like Pilates classes. Man, I had an 8 a.m. Pilates class this morning and Ooh. I was there. It was for rigid yeah. for rigid crazy but you know what i like about it like the way my brain works if i was just like on a regular gym routine i would have been like no nah, i'm not going to the gym today it's yeah. too cold yeah but i was like i guess i got class i gotta be there you know yeah. so yeah 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 man yeah that's what's up that's what's up so um what else is going on i don't know man we're putting out music <laughs> <laughs> I was so surprised by that. <laughs> you were like, oh, wait, are we? Yes. Are we? No, no, I know we are. Of course, of course we are. We've been working on this for a long time. Yeah, we're Man. putting out music. Armand, what are we, what are we doing? Man, so um, Armand and Doc 2 is on the horizon. So we yes, want to thank you guys for your patience. In true Armand and Doc fashion, we were kind of just walking. We are walking. <laughs> and then, like, it's like a dog. Like, speaking of dogs, it's like when a dog sees something, it's just walking. It sees something, it's like. And it just it just takes off. That's that's exactly what we did. Um, the last few weeks have been incredibly productive. We put together some amazing music um, that I can I'm, I can safely speak for Doc and say that we're really excited to share with y'all. So, um, oh yeah, that starts this Friday. The let me get the date right. The twenty sixth. So mm. if you are on either one of our Patreons, um. You will get access to an A side, B side. The the which have we decided which one is the A side, which one is the B side? I think it's. I think we have. I think sometimes yeah. it's the A side. Sometimes it's the A side. Okay. Yeah. So the A side is a record called Sometimes, and the B side is a record called Room Five Hundred Six. So if you're on the Patreon, you will have access to both of those songs on Friday. If you want access to both of those songs on Friday, join the Patreon, either one, um, and then um, if you are unable to join the Patreon, it will be on streaming the following week. Yeah. Um, so we, we're, we're going to do something a little different is in terms of this rollout. It's going to be really exciting, yeah, really dope. going to be some experimentation. Yeah, you know, yeah, got some, yeah. Bringing back the, you know, 
a side b side to the singles but we're gonna keep uh yeah it'll be good y'all 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 will see but um no it's crazy like was it was what like last summer when i was out there and we Which recorded time? and it for the um uh when we did for the kickback oh yeah for the kickback yep, yep. dang that was the summer and jesus wasn't that the summer yeah right? it was yeah that was it june was. Mm-hmm. and we were like oh we're almost done Half the album is different than at least half the album is different than what we thought was almost done. Then, so Absolutely. you know, we're we're getting there. We're getting Absolutely. there. Absolutely, yeah. Like I always, I just know like one of us usually hits a vein, and I mm-hmm. had I just had a really hard time writing, but I don't know what happened. I hit a vein, and then when I hit a vein, I feel like Doc was. I feel like Doc was also. I don't think your vein was related to my vein. I hmm. think that you were also on your own vein. You were kind of digging and finding stuff and experimenting. Trying to find stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and I think our veins kind of like lined up very similarly. Mm-hmm. And I'm really, really, really excited for this album. Um, we've got some great, great music. S tier Armand and Doc music. Yeah. No yes, gas. Yes. No there gas. Are, I mean, I, I love them all, but like there are some of them where I'm just like, I just, I can't wait for people to hear them, man. Oh man. I can't <sighs> wait. Cause right. There's a very small circle of people who've heard like on my end. Yeah. I've shared like literally it's just Marissa. Here's it in the car. That's it. No, yeah. I've played this stuff for nobody else. I, I, I let Taylor hear like very early versions of the album in like the fall, like September. Okay. Oh, so he's missing even some of this. Okay. Oh yeah. He hasn't heard, but you know, yeah, he's heard a record in particular sure, at, at sure. length. But um, other than that, yeah, same. I, I played it. For, I played it for my wife, and she was like, "Oh, is this you and Doc?" And I was like, "Yeah." She was like, "Oh, okay." And then she just got quiet and was just I'm, like, right now I'm like in my like um, I'm in my sequence mode. Hmm. So I'm trying to figure out like what goes where. What I'm I'm trying to figure out the feel of the album. Um. We're, we're close. We're very close. We're very close. We've been saying we're that for close. we've been saying that for like a year, but no, seriously, y'all. Like no, we're, we're so really, close to releasing music on Friday. So That's again, right. if you're on the yeah. Patreon, you'll have some new music this Friday. If you're not on the Patreon, it'll be on streaming platforms. Um and I, I should point out our, like the Patreon has a free trial, right? So if yes. you've never tried it, if you've been looking for a reason to try it out, no better time than than this than, than this week. Facts. So. Facts. Absolutely. Yep. Get seven day free trial. Check it out. Listen to all these old episodes of CRS that are that are great. Um, yeah, Patreon exclusive episodes. Like yeah. if you're not on page, you've missed out on a ton. So. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. tons of stuff. Absolutely. So, and for those who are still here, um, really appreciate y'all. Y'all just yeah, man. like clearly yeah. it's like folks is like locked in. There's people who cycle out every once in a while, but I feel like our community is pretty locked in. So we really do appreciate yeah. y'all. Really do. So with that said, yes, sir. What are we talking about this week, man? Man, well. You know, when you text me and said, what are we talking about this week? The, the obvious answer was, um, you know, new albums from 21 Savage. Kid Cudi put out something Kid recently. Cudi. Yeah. Um, you know, a few, few other. Uh, did you see the picture of, uh, of Kanye and uh, JPEG Mafia? I did, because JPEG Mafia was spouting off on Twitter. He was basically like, You're, you got a bunch of bums working on your album. Why haven't you called me? <laughs> And in true Kanye West fashion, that's how you get his attention. Absolutely. Insult him. Um, <laughs> not too strong. Not too strong. Yeah. But like, hey, you're an idiot for not working with me. And he's Absolutely. like, all right, we'll like, see who, what you got. Who's and JPEG I'm sure Mafia? you know JPEG Mafia. First, he's like, ask somebody, who's JPEG Mafia? No. Um, and then, uh, you know, I'm sure JPEG Mafia, he's, first of all, he's a huge Kanye fan. Clearly. Huge Kanye fan. Clearly. And so, like, I'm sure he has some, like, sam- some chops, some ideas. He has just been like... He's like, if I ever get that call, absolutely, I'm coming in, coming in, and hot. so absolutely, yeah, I'm coming in hot, coming in hot, absolutely. So, so uh, who knows? Who yeah, knows? We'll, we'll see. It could it could get completely stripped down to like a shadow of his former self, um, right? Because that that could happen. But um, but who knows? Maybe he brought him in. He's like, actually, I, can you just like touch up like five of these records? Which I, you know, not maybe not a bad idea. Not a bad idea for, based off of some of the stuff that I've heard. That's um, right. But yeah, I was like, nah, I just, I honestly, I haven't had time to listen to 21 or, or Kid Cudi's albums. I'm also, hey, y'all, I'm not a Kid Cudi fan. So I keep telling mm-hmm. y'all, y'all want me to like listen to music of artists that I, I don't like. So like, you just want me to say I don't like this when I should just not listen to it. Mm. Um, so we'll, we'll save that for a little later down the line. But Doc, of course, had, a, had, a ace in, had an ace in the hole, had an ace in the back pocket. He said, man, it's 20 years 
20 years ago was 2004. Listen, man. That hurt. You yeah, ever been shot? You, have you ever been shot before, Doc? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I haven't, actually. That's how that's, 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 Yo, how many years ago? I've never been shot before. I've been around people okay, when they when they've been they've been right. But I must hide myself and shot when they got they got. That was that feel like that was pretty close to it. I could not believe that that was twenty years ago. My entire life changed in two thousand and four. Um, so many things have so many life memories connected. I, we've talked about that two thousand two, two thousand three. 2004 is like my first year as a, like as an adult on my own. Mm. I joined the military. Yeah. Yeah. I left home. Found out I was gonna be a dad. Like all types of stuff. Um, yeah, crazy. So here yeah. we are. I, that's, that's the year I graduated college. You know, um, really important stuff like putting out the SOHH mixtape volume four. Like really, I you know just <laughs> really concrete stuff. No, really, <laughs> my mom's gonna hide somewhere. Um, shout shout out out yeah. there, and yeah. DJ Criminal. Oh, oh man, out there, DJ. Oh, DJ Criminal. <laughs> you know, but yeah, uh, we- but no, you know, um, this was. I mean, for hip hop, this is a real. I mean, it's a it's a you when you and I were talking, no, you call it like almost an essential year, like a definitive year. It's um, there's a big change coming. The signs oh, yeah. are mostly there. Oh yeah, people don't really know it yet. No, but no like clue. the change, everything. Like the big change is next, like next year, 2005 yeah. is like the, oh no. Yeah. It, it for, starts- for a certain segment, for a certain segment of the industry. Right. But so this year yeah. is like the peak of some things. It's like the mm-hmm. introduction of like other things. Like there's, there's a lot going on this year. Some like Absolutely. incredible definitive albums. Yeah. Um, songs that are just like, if you wanted to define an era for somebody, you could say, Listen to this and watch this video, and this is going to tell you everything you need to know about this particular slice of this time. You know, mm-hmm. absolutely, absolutely, yeah, that, yeah. That's a that's a great point. We're really on the precipice of what I believe is like the worst time in in hip hop history. History. Um, my backpack was was on extra tight, but extra tight. But also, like, even though we're on the precipice of what I consider to be a downturn. This is an amazing year. And you have to factor in some of the reasons for that downturn. You know, downloading is at an all-time high. Um, Mixtapes are at an all-time high, I believe. When, when did Drama and Cannon get arrested? Isn't that coming up soon? That's got to be later, right? Like 06, 07, like maybe? 06, 07. Okay. But this is like peak mixtape. Now you've got artists. Um, you've got DJ. I mean, like, really is Clue and 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 k slay who have put out uh retail albums but now you have like a whole litany of mixtape djs who are getting fame and notoriety off of their mixtapes there are more like artists central mixtapes that are not just oh we're just rapping over other people's beats like this is a whole album it's just not mixed um that's coming up you know the labels are working with the djs and you know, it, there was just there's a lot of stuff, you know, from a technology standpoint um, that that factored into, you know, yeah, thing, things turning. So there's some artists who have very big years. There's some producers who have huge, monstrous huge years. years. Um, and. I can't confidently say we're going to get to everything because we're if you try. listen to the pre-show, we forgot some yeah. stuff <laughs> right before we started recording. So yeah. I'm a I'm a little I'm a little scared, but I'm also excited. I was very excited listening to listening to this or listening to the music preparing for this show. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, no. I mean So like we uh I th- we think we mentioned this in the pre-show. If not, it was just before the pre-show, but like Yeah, I mentioned this in the pre-show. So in the late 90s, early 2000s, that Q4, the, you know, October, November, December time frame was so packed with with CD releases just because of um you know people were like oh we got to get it out for the end of the fiscal year we also want to get stuff out so people can buy presents for christmas which was still right. a thing that people did in stores right mm-hmm. so like i'm like, like the the Q4 in 2004 listen to this batch of names okay 
Okay. Whether it's veterans like De La Soul, mm-hmm. whether it's Most Def, Fab, Ja Rule, Eminem, Lil Jon, Snoop, Nas, T.I., Cam, Ludacris, Exhibit, Leisha Keys, a pretty well, a pretty uh, big selling posthumous uh, Tupac album, the introduction of John Legend. Like this is all like in basic, mostly November, December. And it's just like, oh my God, like what is, what is going on here? Yeah. And despite all of that, the year was arguably dominated by two albums that were released in March. Mm. You know? So like, there's a lot going on this year. What's the other one? Well, there's Confessions and there's uh, College Dropout. College Dropout. That's right. Okay. I'm tripping. Dang, now, was that March? That wasn't February? Was that March? Uh, maybe it was February. I thought it was. Yeah, okay. Bad. Whatever. You think I would know. I don't know. We I mean, listen. We had the album. Yeah, February. Well, 10th. yeah. Like what version? It's like what version? February ten. There you go. It's like what yeah. version of the college dropout? You know, so, but, um, so you know, I, I wish we could find. I'm sure you have it somewhere. But like the original version of College Dropout was a thing. It leaked super, super early. I'll never forget because this was this was a time where like it was rare to get a to get a stream. So I got a. There was a radio stream. Kanye was in Europe. He was on Tim Westwood. So Kanye's on Tim Westwood with Dame Dash, and they announced that they uh they did six more songs. Mm. Kanye, in hindsight, this is like his introduction to tweaking because he said he tweaked some songs, songs that were something like uh, "Never Let Me Down" that was on Which, the original. Right. Later now has a Jay Z verse on it, um, and then he's literally I can still hear the Tim Westwood bombs the first time he played spaceships like the mm. first time i heard it for the first time there's six records um that were that were new on the album that weren't on or that that were that weren't on the original version or whatever so those yeah it, it it's a time and i think that's one of the last times an album got like modified because of the bootleg right oh i mean it's happened a bunch of times Right. Like boot, but like serious bootlegging. Also, in some cases, it's like, you know, they had to do stuff with samples, right? Like, you yeah. know, never let me down. The sample had to be recreated. Mm-hmm. But this is like, this is, I mean, in a sense, like a lot of this, a lot of these songs kind of been working on for a very long time. But like the fact that they came out when they did was honestly for the best. Because by for this sure. point, now he's got John Legend, John Stevens, soon to be John Legend, mm-hmm. who can help write hooks, who can do keys. Right, you do background vocals. He's got Mary Benary coming in, doing strings wow. on tons of his songs throughout the year. Right, but Benary. also now wow. he's working with Ken Lewis, who is a musician who is the guy who recreated the sample for "Never Let Me Down," so then Kanye could rechop it. Mm-hmm. Like, so he's now he's now got people who can help him replay, like samples if he needs to. Like he's 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 got this team. Right. So like that means he can do kind of whatever. And there's a reason why, like, not only is College Dropout a huge song this year, but like the list of Kanye produced singles this year is absurd. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So do we just want to like start with our Kanye records? I mean, we can we can get well, I mean, so yeah, we could we probably should start probably should should actually start our list. I mean, we could start so here's a question. So actually hold on real quick. So what we're doing is the definitive 15 songs of 2004. There you go. What is definitive is open to interpretation. Mm -hmm. I typically try to take the angle of if I'm introducing this to like a teenager who knows nothing about 2004 Mm -hmm. and I want them to understand the year, what songs am I playing for them? Might not be my 15 favorite, might not be the 15 best, but it's the ones that you could say, yeah, this explains this thing, or this is a good indication of this, or this song was just so huge. It has to make the list, right? Yeah. Yeah. But there's different ways you could take definitive. And I think, and Sometimes there are often years that just have huge albums with lots of singles. And we sometimes will keep ourselves to like a, let's just keep two, two songs per album rule. But I don't know, man. It's this, hard. Yeah. This year is, is a little crazy. Kanye has a crazy year. Usher has a crazy year. Like Usher said. has a crazy year. You know, Alicia Keys has a crazy year. Um, Lil John has an insane year. Lil John has a big know. year. So there's there's a few artists that you'll you'll likely see a bunch of different times. Um, yeah. <sighs> how do you want to how do you so, want to start? I mean, I could start. You know what? Let's just start with the obvious stuff. Let's get the obvious stuff out of the way. Ooh, I've got. Okay. I held myself to two solo 
I'll say two songs off college dropout. I held myself to two. I could have put four, five, six, for sure. right? For sure. Easy. Held myself to two. Um, Through the Wire was originally released before 04. Mm. I'm not counting that. It was pushed as a single, not counting that. So I think you've got to start with Slow Jams. 100%. Has to be on the list. Okay. Right. I changed Slow Jams. Okay. I did. It was, it was literally my number one. First thing That's was right. like, oh yeah, Slow Jams. And then I was like, wait a minute. Doc's going to pick Slow Jams. Doc is going to pick Slow Jams. Let me cheat yeah. and pick something else. Yeah. So like, let me, let me give you the pitch. I mean, I, sh- I don't think I have to pitch Slow Jams, but like, here's specifically why I picked it, right? Listen. So it's the, re- it's, it's so many things. It's a perfect, like s- snapshot of like Kanye at the peak of his powers in 04, mm-hmm. right? This first prime of, of Kanye. Um, that first verse, that first of his is a star making verse for Kanye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody knew that verse, right? Yep. It's corny, but it's funny. It's just Kanye. And then it's almost, you can't underestimate the like, the alley-oop that he throws to Twista. A guy who had been around the industry, had put out really good songs before, had been, had some memorable guest appearances, but never had big time commercial success and the alley-oop that that yay throws him and then sort of returns the favor on some songs further down the line like is it's incredible right the mm-hmm. whole like i can't rap that fast but i know someone who can, like it's iconic like mm-hmm. what he does for twista mm-hmm. sets him up lets him run that song is is had to be on had to be a, like first thing i mentioned this year first thing i mentioned couldn't go anywhere in 04 without hearing that record absolutely absolutely Absolutely. So my pick. Oh, I um, forgot we should be playing records too. We should play, oh, yeah. play music. Do you, yeah. we want to play? Sl- who hasn't heard Slow Jams? Do you want to play Slow Jams? Who doesn't jam? want to hear Slow Jams? I know. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. All right. Um, the record I picked, I picked one that's a little more, a little more inside baseball. Okay. Um, I actually just mentioned it. The first time I heard this record, it blew mm-hmm. my mind. Um, yeah. It is still to this day one of Kanye West's best songs, um, mm. most definitive song. Um, and it really like, when you talk about the brand of Kanye West, especially in this era, he is like the anti-hero or the anti-villain where, you know, 50 Cent and gangster rap and all these things are very like aggressive hip hop is just all in your face. We're in the club era where, when you hear more than maybe two or three Lil John records, somebody's getting beat up, somebody's getting stabbed, somebody's getting hurt, right? right. Um, that, that concept is just, like, kids can't even imagine that nowadays. Not to say that they don't fight when they all gather anymore, but, like, people would hear music and, like, want to harm other people. We, people would go to the music and t- go to the club intentionally. Um, but this record is ab- literally about um, I have a regular nine to five job and I would rather do something else. I'd rather chase my dreams. Um, right. s- spaceships is 100% on my list. All respect yeah. to all the four or five songs that you had in mind for college dropout because you're, no, you're it's, it's an incredible right. song, but space jam or space jam, spaceships, <laughs> quad city DJs is on my list. Welcome um, to the space jam. No. Hey, yeah. Spaceships 100% on my list. 100%. And I don't it's think on my it. longer list of st- like it's just there's so many records, but no, I mean I, if I'm talking like my favorite, it's one of my favorites from the album. Yeah, sure, has to, yeah, be. has to, yeah, be. yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. <clears throat> okay. And again, like talk about a verse from Kanye that is just iconic, right? That first verse is like perfect. Absolutely, it's a Kanye verse. Like clearly, it's Kanye yeah. and probably Romfest. Like you could tell probably, the difference yeah. between. Rhyme well, except, Fest, yeah, I guess that's right. Rhyme Fest is like the quirky. Whenever you hear like a quirky verse from Kanye that's like a little lighthearted and silly, it's usually from mm. Rhyme Fest. Yeah. If he wants to get in like his rapidy rap bag in the early days, that was a con- uh, consequence verse um, that later became um, Sahai and, you know, Chance and stuff like that. But that was pretty much the difference. Like, Clearly, Ron Fest writes Jesus Walks, like more like targeted, focused, right. conceptual songs. Jesus Walks, Spaceships. That's Ron Fest. 
um, you know, a record like Breathe In, Breathe Out, where he's just rapping, probably Consequence. That's the best way to tell. But um, yeah. Okay. okay. What else you got? That's obvious. I mean, the, look, there's a song I got to play. You know, like, I don't know, man. We already mentioned this record. How are you not going to talk? If you're talking about, because like, like I said, there's a million songs you pick off College Dropout. I'm sticking with Kanye. It's, I got to, I got to hear this. When this became a single, we are war with like a successful single that people were Wait. dancing to. Yes. In the club. I'm a te- I'm, I'm, oh, I can gee. testify to it. Yeah. No, like I, I, I was lucky enough to see Kanye live that year. Right. Mm-hmm. He came, he played, um, he played Yukon with Ludacris opening for him. Actually, no, he did he open for Ludacris? I think he technically opened for Ludacris. Yeah, he did. And he had John Legend there and Mary Ben Ari. They had the whole thing and they were, you know, playing everything. And yes, he was mad about the sound quality and sat down on the edge of the stage and refused to play until they fixed the speakers. All the classic Kanye stuff you would imagine. But like when they play Jesus Walks, like that place erupted and people are dancing like they're in a club. Mm-hmm. Right? It's like, and you're like, you're looking around, you're like, wait, what? <laughs> and this is like, not even this is April oh four, right? So the album's mm. only been out for two months and it had already mm. like I was like, Oh, okay. You know? Okay. It's an iconic iconic song. I mean, it, this yeah. is like also, you know, this song infamously has three music videos that were made mm-hmm. for it, and one of which is like a million plus dollar hype Williams, because now Kanye is like, Oh, no one can tell me anything. Yeah. I've got the vision. I'm gonna spend what I need to like the the shackles are being tossed off of Kanye already. Like he mm-hmm. is not going to be restrained by anybody, by any label, by any budget. He is going to do whatever he wants from this point on. So, because again, there's so much. There I is. Just, I wanted to, I wanted to space it out. So coming out yeah, of yeah, 2002, yeah. 2003, um, the diplomats are riding pretty high. Mm-hmm. And mm. I wanted to find some sort of, of representation. You know, mm. Joel's had the, um, he had the uh, the back like cook crack mixtape series. Nah, not there. Like it's cool, but not definitive. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I did find out that Kanye produced this. But this is the end of '04. This is fourth quarter 2004. This right. album, I'm curious which song you're you're picking here. I'm only picking one. What's the other one I'm picking with with Dipset in in Kanye in 2004? Because this There's, song was out for a while, and then this this album was out for a while, and this this album this album officially releases at the end of '04. That's right. So I mean, you have to. Learn if I need if I need it. My bad. That's why I like Chilla. it. baby. Kanye, this that 1970s heroin flow, huh? Yeah, I hear people Let's talking about who I win that. Man, they don't know we finna kill the game this year. Kill them. Uh, uh, hey, hey, come on. Street merchants, I legislated the nerve. I never hated on murders. Premeditated, absurd. I hesitated, observed. Just praying that you from a block away. Judge Asaki, you wanna see Suki Lee and I'm sorry. So, Very definitive for me. I didn't pick that because they didn't push that as a single till 05, but sure. you could call it 04. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I cheated, right? Well, not cheated okay. technically. I'm like, yo, if it came out in 04, I'm putting it out in 04. It's just too much red tape. Because I, when I go to, because when I'm in Okinawa, Japan. Yeah. Let me tell you. The locals were dressing like Dipset. Mm. Mm-hmm. Lots of purple, lots of pink. Oversized fitteds with the bandana underneath it, the Pink Panther air, uh, airbrush tees. Yeah. Air Force One, like they were dipset cosplay to a T. So the influence was so crazy. Mm. Um, and if there's one record for me that encapsulates um, that influence, it's, it's down and out. I thought you were going to play this. Oh. Let's do that's it. That's your joint. Huh. <laughs> Jim Jones. Killer. Freaking yeah, that's your joint. How long we gonna have this shit on lock, man? I forgot about this. Let's start. Listen, there I've been popping them pieces. Maybe that's part of the reason. See, I like that. It didn't make yeah. my 15. It was close. Because, because what, it, what it represents. It's like, we're going to pitch this all the way up. All the way up. <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous. And 
and yay, you know, like, and what, I'm sorry, Cam, that's like the cammiest cam you can almost have where he's like talking about like top of the top and top of the, like he's doing all yeah, the yeah, cam yeah. stuff, yeah, you know, and it's just like, yeah. it's such a representation of like what they were trying to do, even though ironically, Kanye wasn't really that involved with the dip set sound necessarily, but like, not really. Yeah. Not really. And shout out to, and got, to Brian Miller for, for producing down and out, you know, I was getting ready to do that. Absolutely. Shout out to him. So, okay. That's my, that's, right. that's my one. And I got, and I got one more Kanye related, but please go ahead. Well, no, because I had, I had a slot. Cause like, I got to a point where I was like, look, I need just one song from this person. I want to have a conversation with you about it. So I have one mm-hmm. slot. I allowed myself for one of these Kanye produced songs for other people. You got okay. Slum Village, you got Janet, you got Brandy, you got Overnight Celebrity, you got your man, John Legend, you got, I mean, we could go, we could go real, real, real deep and play like, you know. Yo, Jim, we good with this one. <laughs> Just look at Kanye. <laughs> Woo! We next generation in this rap game. So, oh, right, Jim. Got down like this. Yep. Uh-oh. I don't know that's such a sad Listen, story, man. If they would have led with that instead of learn Chinese, his career is different. Do you know the reason? Maybe, but it doesn't come to mind what I'll, happened. I'll tell the story. Uh, Rockefeller wouldn't, wouldn't clear this as, a, as the single. Like they wouldn't allow Kanye's guest appearance on single because uh, this is 04. And they, the reason they gave is um, they were worried about uh, Ye being overexposed because he had so many other songs out. So they had to go back to the drawing board and they kept trying to, Rough Riders was like, well, you need a single. And I'm sure Jen is like, we've got the single. It's with Kanye. It's right there. It uses the same song as Overnight Celebrity, just flipped in a different way. Like, what are you doing? But they couldn't do it. And if you can't put that out without getting, uh, yeah, without, you know, Rockefeller clearing it, you can't put it out. Can't put it out. So like, he kind of got, you know, then he was in purgatory, basically. It's and a real shame. said... Aha, <laughs> I've got just the fix for this. Yeah, well. Quite possibly the one of the most, not, not quite possibly, one of the most racist songs <laughs> to be a fly I'm sure on the like, wall while that was being pitched. Yeah, I know. So if I'm, if I'm doing just one, I mean, it might have to be this one. <laughs> That was the other one for me. This is the one. It is. I'm just gonna let this play. Why not? Oh, you didn't think we can do it again? I love that. It's like, sure, we thought you could do it again. What are you talking about? From We can even make you What's going on? Man, what ugly. a time. Ugly. Beautiful. Ugly. Yeah. Be- absolutely beautiful. Yeah. One that was the other record. Um Yeah. I mean to give Twister so Twister for a long time was always like the people's champ. So like Yo, yeah. He was living off that Pope Pimp verse for a long time. And I'm not, I'm not saying that in a bad context. I mean, he had other records. He had like um, Adrenaline Rush. Wet, Adrenaline Rush. Yeah, yeah. So like it was one of those records like when you would go to house parties, people would be like, they play Twister, but he wasn't like, mm. you know, the guy. But everybody knew who he was. They knew he was insanely talented and very unique because that, that tongue twister style. Um, most people knew you could say like Lord Infamous from Three Six Mafia. You could say Bone Thugs in Harmony, but like for a lot of people, Bone Thugs you couldn't really understand what they were saying. Whereas Twister had speed and clarity, hmm. um, and um, and a little flair to his style or whatever. So when yeah. he, you know signs with Rockefeller, but Rockefeller falls apart, he's still kind of lingering and hanging around. He and is. It just so happens that he's right place, right time. I don't know the circumstances of how he got this record. But it was just perfect. So yeah, this is this was the other one for me. He's got an incredible collection of guest appearances over the years, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. I mean, I love still Pope Pimping, but I mean, like, oh yeah, Twisted Heat. Um, oh yeah, which is iconic but, for us. But like, he he hooked up with Puff on a couple occasions. Is this is this, is this the, end? the end? Is bananas. Is um, there's the another end? one he did with Puff. What's that called? Um, yeah. Um, 
not angels with dirty faces. I thought what, the same thing. It? I was like, it's not angels with dirty faces. I don't know. Um, oh, let me see. But of course, he's on. Is that your chick? Um, yep. So like, oh, no, he's is got this a, the end part two. Is this the end part two? Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, he's like, yeah, you know, he's, he's, got, on, he's got an. He's got another yeah. one from this oh, year. Thug uh, Love with, with Lil' Kim. That was dope. But what, I'm sorry, what else he's got? He's got a ton uh, of 04. He's everywhere. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll say, yeah, 04. He's even got, um, he's got a uh, Let's Go with Trick Daddy. Right. He's got Let's Go. That's a big, yeah. That's on, a big and then one. he's, of course, he's the guy who called in for remixes, right? He's on yep. Freaky League remix. He's on the Got It Twisted remix. Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot he's on the Got It Twisted remix. Yeah. 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 What was the name of that record? That Kamikaze album? And uh, it had a sample. Uh, was it uh, "Come and Get Me"? Here I am, something like that. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. You mean, you mean this? Oh, this is the craziest thing in the world when I heard. Oh my god. I don't know why. I thought that was Kanye for some reason, but no, it's not. Mm, nah, it's clear. Because not. he used the same sample when Kanye was ghost producing for D Dot. He used that on Chainswing mm. of Goody Mob. Okay. Oh. Uh, so I was. That's the D record. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've been I've been my record. my bag this week. Co man. Clearly, um, clearly, yeah. No, get get me is a is a crazy record off that. But yeah, no. I mean, yeah, twist had a good year too. All right, so that yeah, so that's I've got three. I picked three. How many have you picked? Three, because that was that was three. my third. Okay. Yeah. Oh, because my third. Yeah. We have well, the same one. All right. So you want to go next? <clears throat> okay. So that's it for me with with Kanye. All right. Um, let's switch it up and let's we've already talked about Usher, so let's do mm -hmm. Usher. Yeah. Um, I'm actually gonna kill two birds with one stone here. I okay, sure. When this song comes out, this comes out at the the end of 04. I wanna say end of 04. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I now we're going where I thought you were to start, but okay, I'm not surprised. Um when I tell y'all this might be this this is on the list. I won't say it is, but it's on the list of the greatest songs in history to never get a music video or never be an official single. This never got a video. You looking at me okay. like I'm crazy. There's no video I, I for this. I thought I knew what song you were playing, but now I don't. So I'm very you curious. You really do? All right. Let's just, let's just, all right. Come on. I hate when this, when this does this. Okay. Let's just play it. Let's go. Oh, yes. Hush. Okay. Lush, what? No, not on my list. I was outside, man. In this song, this song. I was outside. This was a great time. This is a great time. You know he has club to clothes, right? like three, four club clothes. This is on my extended list for sure. Uh, you know, but not. Uh, 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 first. Uh, uh, a little final little quarter. I'm good. I'm I was out of my yeah. dirty Mac and era at this point, you know. I was, uh, I was. Oh, listen, listen. I wasn't dirty. I wasn't dirty Mac. -ing. Dirty Mac was a little. Was a little earlier. I was like, I was like eighteen. Dirty Mac and twenty. Now nah, I wasn't dirty Mac and I didn't mean to. It's a good time. Great time. Absolutely had to be on the list. Classic verses from all three. Even Lil John, like his verse is iconic as well. Yeah, should have should have been a single. Don't know why I didn't get a video. I don't see them doing that at the Super Bowl. If they do, it would be crazy. Be, it'd be real crazy. It would be so crazy. It'd be really cool. But they could they could literally start with like the keys. You mm. know, Lil John or somebody could be on the piano and then go in the year or something like that. I Little John I, on the piano. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. he plays instruments. He could play the piano. So um, Lil John has a huge 2004 and I'm actually right now still trying to figure out which John records I'm going to play because there's so many. I, um, I really like that you started with that record when you could have started with what's on my list, which is this record. Hey, town, town. Oh, this no. has to be on the list. No. Has to be. <laughs> no. 
that's the most that might be the most iconic Usher song. It is that's, might be the most iconic Lil John song. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I don't ever need to hear that song. Ever. Oh no. We just talked about this on my on my on my I Instagram. Saw that. Yeah, I saw songs that. you I never saw need that. to hear again. This is very high on the list. I don't need to hear this song. It's iconic. Should be on the list. I'm not playing this song for anybody before Lovers and Friends. I'm not. I'm not. But I get it. I get it. Yeah, it was one of those records where as Absolutely. soon as I heard it, I was like, oh, you know. I just you know you knew. You hear it. I you're like, oh my God. Of course this it's, is gonna be. It's, it yeah. was a, it was and then it was even bigger than you thought. It over. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. I, I, I didn't, I don't think anybody thought that Usher would sell a million in a week. We knew it was no. big, but I didn't think you know it was who didn't, that big. You know who didn't? Jadakiss didn't think so. We gonna, I'm going to talk about Jadakiss shortly. It, and that's why he didn't get his confession. That's why he didn't get his throwback verse in on time because he was just like, yeah, it's a project. Like he didn't know it was going to do that. <laughs> and throwback is my second favorite Usher song. Let's go record. I love that song. Love that song. And the me, remix, like, too. the use of that sample um, by, uh, by, by Dilla on Donuts has kind of, like, rearranged my brain and how I think about that song. But it's a, it's a great song. It's a great song. Just used it better. Hot take. Mm, I actually don't like, I, I actually don't like Dilla's flip. He did too much. I know. He, he I did mean, what much. he did, yeah. He's, he's, Dilla was insane on that. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it was um, a lot. It was a lot going on that day where it's like, nope, just loop it. <laughs> just loop it. Dang, you know, somebody sent me a beat with that sample years ago and I never used it. I'm going to hit him up and see if it's if hard to use that available. sample in a way that's not, that doesn't feel like you're aping what's been done I, before, I mean, you know? We'll talk offline. You could put some drill <laughs> drums on that. Nah, this one was, he actually, the, the beat was like slow. It was slow. It was slowed down. Yeah. It was slowed down. Um, absolutely. If one of y'all, hey, I'm looking in the camera. If one of y'all throw drill drums on throwback, I'm coming to see you. Don't play with me. Don't do that. Anyway. We're anyway, back. we're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not on my it's list. On Nowhere list. near my I, list, but it's, it's oh 100%. God. It's definitive and iconic. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. I know you got more Usher records than that. Yeah, I got the other one. Um, come on, man. Wait, hold up. Where am I? Oh, I was, I was looking up Lil John records. I mean, there are favorites you could play, but yeah. there's, really only, there's really only one you should play. But we'll see. I'm curious where you're going. You like to, you like to play the unexpected. I do. I'm just going. You might play Sweet Lies for all I know. I don't know. There's always that one person oh, you that will okay. always have your heart. Never seen you coming cause you're blinded from the start. Know that you're that one for me. It's clear for everyone to see. Oh, baby. Yeah. You gotta rock your way to this one. Please come on. I don't know about y'all, but I know about us. Yeah. It's the only way we know how to rock. Yeah. So. Confessions. All respect the college dropout, but Confessions is the album of 2004, right? Mm, that's interesting. That's interesting. I mean, first of all, top to bottom, the album is incredible. There's only two songs on the album that I don't like. Then, to your point, he doubles back and puts out a special edition because some records leak online. He's like, yeah. oh, oh, you want, you want seduction? You want red light? Here. You can right. have them. Hey, guess what I got? I got enough money to get Shine on the phone to rap over Confessions. <laughs> Twister's on the remix to that, too. There's another yeah. one. Um, yeah, all those. Well, how many number one singles are on that album? Five? Four. If you count Four. my boo? Four. Counting my boo. Four count my boo? Okay, so it's, it's yeah, yeah, yeah burn, burn, my boo, Confessions part two. You got it bad. No, that's the previous album. You got it bad as... Damn, yeah. you got bad. It's eighty-seven on one. You're right. Okay, 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 okay. All right, that's four. Yeah, that's the that's the album of the that's definitive. That is the definitive album of that year. And that might be that might be the best. Honestly, that might be like the best top to bottom R and B album of the decade. I was getting ready to say. I still feel like your many many R and B artists for a long time were chasing the ghosts of that album. Um, Usher what's included. The, absolutely. Oh, killed his career low key for a long time. Mm. 
killed his career for a long time. I mean, like to come back f- with that, with like here I stand, was like. I mean, loving this club was, was number one, but then after that, it trailed off pretty quickly. He was bumbling and fumbling for a little while. For a little while. Um, yeah, I mean, God, what's the best R and B album since Confessions? I guess I feel like a lot of people will probably have Channel Orange up there. I would right? have Channel Orange on that list, yeah. Even though that's like, it's not a, it's not really squarely in the vein of like mainstream R and B. Like it became kind of mainstreamish R and B. It did because R and B changed. Like, yeah, R&B changed, right? Whereas this mm-hmm. is like right down the middle. Oh, this, you is, know? this is the purest of R&B. Absolutely. And shout out, listen, shout out to No ID for that uncredited sample chop on my boo. It's an incredible mm. sample chop. The first time I saw that video breaking it down, I was just like, whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. So shout out to, I feel like this story was debunked that Beyonce was originally supposed to be on yeah, my Yeah, she wasn't supposed to. No, it was always supposed to be. The, the problem was, was is like whoever did the reference just sounded like a, like a low quality version of the reference leaked online and it sounded mm-hmm. like Beyonce. So, so everyone just, was just like, you know, this is the era when we had a lot of people who sounded like other artists, right? Like, shout you know. To, shout to Angelus. <laughs> 45? You know, like yeah, I was about re- to say Hold on, let's hear, let's play that the right now. Hold on, because I want to I want to hear with my with my with, with, older with ears, old goody, better quality, yeah, better quality ears. Does this dude still sound like Jay Z? Make way for them sharpshooters. Started off when I was twelve, and my mama was she had locked me in the cell up with scratch in the heart. That's where I found my pops army issue nickel. I hit the burner in my flannel uh, and a rubber wrapped hand. I took a uh, bag of my nickels and. Right. Double shot. Triple bubble. Doc was crazy. Doc was like, yo. Listen, that beat is crazy. That beat is crazy. He does not sound like Jay-Z. It's he very clear that's not Jay-Z. Like Jay-Z. He's got a little, you can hear a little inflection, but not like to the point to where people were labeling this Jay-Z 45. Listen, the internet thinks that Jay-Z sounds like Nicki Minaj pitched down. So people believe that, <laughs> right? Ooh, boy, people believe anything. You're, you're seeing, listen, man, you're, you're, you're seeing that. I'm seeing that in real time every day. Some of the stuff that people are saying, absolutely not. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. All right. Usher. Yep. Anything else you want to yep. say about my boo? Nah, man, I'm good. I'm good. What you got? I was torn between my boo and, and this record. Cause it's, I don't understand. For you sure. know? Yeah, it dominated. You know, it's a more like this is right out of the Jermaine Dupri, oh, like yeah. My Way eighty seven oh one sort of era. And, Usher. and my boo, and my boo is to. Jermaine Dupri, like Escape. I mean, it gets into like hip hop. It R&B also bag. sort of it hints at what's coming. Yeah, like so. That, of course, that's Burn, which was number one for weeks on weeks on weeks. But for my boo is a good yeah. choice because it hints at what's coming, which is like he hooks up with No ID, and that's what creates those records like for Bow Wow. And then eventually an American gangster, like they're, you know, Jermaine Dupri gets into a little bit of a, like a, a soul sample bag. And it's because of his collaboration with no ID. And also that I feel like that's what set up the emancipation of Mimi. I mean, this whole album sets up the emancipation. Of that's Mimi, what I'm saying. Right? Because, like yeah, yeah, Mariah, sure. Mariah's down bad. Like, I think this, yep. like, I think this is actually like, this is post glitter. She's in rehab. She's not Charm doing well. Bracelet. Yeah. Charm bracelet. Like this, it's his, yeah. She's beefing with Eminem, right? Is this clown? I don't know. I don't know. But she she hears she hears confessions and she's like, get Jermaine on the phone. Get right Jermaine now. Because she I mean she already knew Jermaine. You know? Absolutely. Jermaine had a relationship. Had, yeah, Jermaine yeah, had a long time. Yeah, always be my baby. So she's like, I need my boo and I need uh burn. So burn is we belong together, right? More traditional basically ballad. Yeah. hmm And then other records like Stay the Night. Um, I don't remember. I just I love that album, but a lot of those like give me some of those hip hop Jermaine Dupri records as well. Right. So, yeah, yeah. Confessions absolutely sets up Mimi, and that revitalizes her career. Yeah. So okay, so you have Burn. Right. Yeah, but that's pretty <sighs> obvious. We, oh man, we got we got some. Just, there's some there's some big records on the board. Yeah, I got some. I got some. I got some. Ah. Here's the thing, though. I feel like a lot of the records that I have left, they're like two that are obvious for you and the rest are not. Oh, so interesting. Let's, let's finish the rest of the obvious records. Let's laugh. Okay. Let's laugh. 
Wait a minute. You gonna play the remix? <laughs> I was just getting ready to say, huh? I gotta hear. Hey, listen. Yo. You know every time you come home, you got the merch something. It's the motherfucking rage. Yeah, Holland and TS. Who in the world want a problem with that? Bone real. I heard Holland is Well, John was like, we put that, we put that stab in there. Problem with that. Come on. Oh, Fat Joe was like, no, give me a little John B. Hold on, hold on. I got it. I got it. Big food smoke Dutchess for lunch. That's sick. Come on. Let's sit on here. No, do this account. Necklace 2X. Where is he? It'll be this. Right now, if I want to trade, get on the horn with him. Tell him about the storm coming all our ways. So tell the pad, grab a gal right now. Get on the floor while I wait. No. No. Ooh. Eminem in 2004. Are we, are we going to talk about him? I mean, we could talk about him if just to say, like, he puts out a double album and it is a big, big, I mean, he sells a lot. So the album, uh, they put it out. This is like a Shades of Eminem show. They had to put out Encore early because the leaking was so rampant. They put it out it like three really days bad. early. I it mean, sells yeah. over 600K in three days. Crazy. So why they were worried about leaking, who knows? Right. Like, they were obviously going to sell a lot. Uh, what was the single from that? Was it just, uh, just, just lose it. Was that just lose it? Just lose it. Which was off. Terrible. Terrible. They put out a video from Mosh, right? Yep. They were like, you know, he says the F Bush line and they were like, mm. kid, you know, the marching in the street in the video that people were mm. like, Oh, this is going to switch. No, listen, we really reelected George W man. America looked at everything. They were like, yeah, man. Cause you know, John Kerry, I don't know. He don't have it. Listen, man. You know, you got you got way too much faith in the American people to make the right decision. I think we've look, we've man. We're, 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 we are staring. We are staring down the barrel, staring down the barrel right now, man. It is gonna get dark this year. Okay, <laughs> I'm not excited. I'm not excited. Michelle, anyway, <laughs> Michelle Obama said, "I'm scared." <laughs> sure. Right. Hey. Um. Right. It's like what? It's like. You know, one of the things I, I haven't talked about this concept in a long time, but we used to talk on the show a lot about like lessons learned. Mm -hmm. What lesson do you think Trump learned from the first time? It wasn't the lesson you wanted. Let me tell you, he learned the lesson of like, I'm not going to listen to anybody because it turns out there's really not a lot of safeguards if you're the president. So he's just going to push even more. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I saw the I saw the the he I guess the quote I, I didn't explore yeah. the context. So he basically was like, hey, if you're the president, you should basically be exempt from the law. Uh huh. He said that. <laughs> and then people kept poking and asking, well, what about this? And he's like, well, you know, yeah. he's like, sure. There's some bad, like he even talked about like cops. He's like, yeah, you know, you're gonna have some bad apples with cops, but you gotta let cops kind of do whatever. Otherwise they can't be cops. And people are like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure about that? <laughs> and then I was like, how did he win the Iowa caucus? How did that happen? Be he didn't even really run because there it's in the back. Like the Republican nomination is in the bag for him. He's not even showing up to debates. He's just like doing his own thing. He's doing his own events. Like, you know, he's doing the, 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 the circuit right now. And people are just like, we want Trump. Do people remember how bad, what 2020 was like? I don't think people remember 2020. I don't think people they remember. remember. They remember, well, it's not. <laughs> they remember, I mean, let's move on. <laughs> the classic, it's the classic thing that they always say is like, were you, because they, they've been saying this, like, do you really think you're better off than you were four years ago? And I'm like, I Sure. Has there been ups and downs? Yes, absolutely. Were there million? Were there over a million people dying a week in 2020? Yes, there was. I don't want to. Like, come on, man. What are we doing? It's just anyway. all bad. Anyway, anyway, uh, anyway. Yeah. So lean, lean, lean. Yeah, Listen, lean back. A much better, a much brighter time. Sort of. I mean, we know we had we went to war over I nothing. Mean, yeah, sure. You know, we were committing yeah. atrocities over. in the Middle East. I mean, better for, oil, for some, yeah. I guess. For sure, for sure. Definitely for oil. Um, um look, yeah, fat <sighs> Let me tell you, let me tell you, man. This Terror Squad album, right? You got oh. nothing's gonna stop me. <laughs> right. This is the intro, right? Yeah. Hey, yo, run off the wall, talk the talk. Right, you've got this record. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 ye
man. Shout out to Scram Jones. Shout out to Jadakiss, 40 bars of terror. Yeah. We're going to talk about Jada in just a second. Oh my God. He, that's, and then, that might be my favorite Jada freestyle. You want to talk about records that are indicative of the moment, right? That tell you what people were doing sampling. They were like, how Come high on. can I pitch this up? Come on. Come on. Come on. She wanna take me hard and lay me up beside a heart. She wanna turn me on, can I kiss and bubble? And she said, I hate so that part. High. Why is that pitch so, so high? I so hate that. High. So like that high. beat is dope. The song actually like like sneaky, like sneaky went up. But yeah, yeah. I, I hate how high that's pitched up. I know it's a lot, it. man. It's a lot. Um, Cool and Dre just popped back up. They got a record with Conway. Um, so they're they're still kind of good for them lingering around. So shout shout Cool and Dre. Yeah, Fat Joe has always had a really good ear for beats. Generally, yeah, always had a really good ear for beats. Actually, kind of underrated. Um, so. I'm sure he heard. I mean, that first that first Terror Squad album, right? Mm-hmm. You got records it, like "99 Live." You yeah, got "Past the Glock." You've got oh man, "Bring It On." Yeah, um, Terror Squadians. On there? That's a, there's yeah. like that's early Alchemist. I think like Domingo was yeah. on that album. Uh, isn't Buckwild on there? I'm sure Buckwild. Yeah, Buckwild's on here. Um, but no, it's. I mean, again, good me, good record. Throw that. Let me throw that in my Apple Music. Pardon me. You get an incredible song title, www.thatsmyish.com. <laughs> Where is this? I definitely, oh, had, is. Okay. I definitely had the enhanced CD version of this album. Yeah, I did too. I did too. Loud Shout Records Cuban loved themselves in enhanced CD, man. Shout out to Cuban Link, man. That was my guy. It did him dirty. Oh, what you going to do? Yep. What you going to do? Yep. Yep. All right. Yep. All right. Uh, yeah. So I play. I play. Lean back. What you got? Yeah. We got. We got really off. Um, <laughs> do I want to play really some? Off. You know what? I'm gonna make you. Let, let's. Uh, let's. Let's just. If we're playing records that are just of the moment, we're trying to like yeah. really talk about like. See, I, my list is so long. I'm like, I'm trying to find these records in here. All right. So, one thing that happened in the early 2000s is like we didn't like. There were songs coming out of Atlanta for sure, right? Obviously, Outkast, mm-hmm. but there was an incredible music coming out of Atlanta. But hip hop was increasingly seeing like different. They thought, I think the East Coast thought that this was just like, oh, well, this is just kind of like how sometimes Chicago has a moment, and sometimes the West Coast has a moment. Right. And in the 2000s, sometimes St. Louis has a moment. So there was this gold rush, right? First, they go and, they, and first Nelly blows up, then Chingy mm-hmm. blows up. And so mm-hmm. they were like, let me tell so you. Record label, what if, so record labels are like, what else you got? What else you got? Do we have a record about teen drinking? Sure. Teen drinking is very bad. Yo, I got Turn a big ID though. <laughs> yeah. 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 Two steps. Two steps. One. Here comes the two to the three to the four. Everybody drunk out on the dance floor. Every girl asks you go like she want more. Like she a groupie and I ain't even no tour. Baby. Listen, they really those producers were like, oh, they, they got to they got to the part of the of the, the Korg sound bank that the Neptunes use for grind and they're like, oh, those mm-hmm. drums are right out of the sound bank? Really? Okay. Yeah, it's like grind. Like, let's make our own version of grinding. That was that was the exactly. first thought. The second thought is the the Dave Chappelle John Mayer skit is just is just so indicative of life. We just love drums, yeah. black people. We just love drums. All you gotta do is give us drums. We'll dance. That's the birth of the of the. Some of y'all know it. Well, not the birth, but it's the height of the the dances. Some people call it the chicken head. Some people call it the Nina Pop. We're in peak St. Louis, like. Mm. To the point where people are asking me, where's my accent? Like, come on, y'all. Leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. But Tipsy is one million, trillion, billion percent on my list. Absolutely. Yeah. Of yeah. the time. Of, of the, the time. time. So much. Um, you know, it's interesting. Like, it was just sort of a part of the culture that, like, teen, like, it's, it's, he's joking about it in the song, but, like, we don't really, like, the idea that, like, teens or kids in their early 20s were going to be drinking a lot was just, like, expected. And we had movies that revolved around that whole concept. You don't really see that quite the same way. Like it's not as prevalent. So it really is of the moment. 
you I, I say that all the time like the same way you don't see like live action kid movies you don't see live action movies about like teenagers in high school and there's like this you know they there's this party kinda. that everybody's going to yeah sure so there's the like party house no but the, the idea of revolving around a party right or wanting to get to something mm -hmm. or the, like the party is like the key part of the movie because you have you know? like can't hardly you have can't hardly wait you know i think more the last one i remember of of the time was i mean not of the time because it's a lot later but i think the last one i remember is what like super bad Super bad. I mean, it's literally just about this one party, and they're like, yeah. they're, you know, fake IDs and fake everything IDs else, and yeah, going to get out because you. I mean, you like, come on, man. Like you, you know, there was always somebody in the crew who had a hookup at some liquor store. Somebody was there was some somebody who would sell. They either have the fake ID or the person knew that you know the person was under twenty one and just charged them a premium to get the alcohol and like it was it was culture. It was a thing. It's a thing. Absolutely. No, I just, a thing. I just, it, I just, yeah. I just want to send a shout out to my, my RA uh, freshman year who would just like take us around be like, all right, let's go. We'll take, we're taking you to this place right off campus called bird dog liquors with a guy who I don't think could actually see five feet in front of him working the register. <laughs> and he's just like, he didn't care. He's like money coming in product going yeah. out. He was just like, whatever. <laughs> just sell it. Just sell it. Yeah. It was, it was a time. It was a time. It was a time. I, that, yeah, I, be, I was, I was the DD. I was, it was never been a drinker. Oh no, I was so not. I'm, no, I was not the DD. I went from I went from never drinking at all ever to like I was a, a white boy stereotype in like six weeks. <laughs> like it was like, you know, uh, UConn used to have a big spring weekend party weekend they called Spring Weekend. I like semi infamously amongst my group of friends, like I passed out on the hood of a cop car. You know? Oh, and, you told me that story. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and like what's I mean, the definition of privilege is they, and they didn't arrest me, they didn't hassle me. They literally were just like, you should go walk home. It wow. was a 20 minute walk home. I somehow wow. stumbled and bumbled to get, cause I was at some off campus party. I got yeah. home. I got back to my, my dorm room, show up. And of course they've got like all the RAs lined up to be like, are you supposed to be here? Who, who are you? And I was just like, they're like, what room do you look like? What, you know, what, what, what room, what room are you in? And I was just like, uh, my RA was right there. He's like, I got him. And he literally like takes me up. And just like shoves me into my room and throws me in my bed and says, you know, Sleep see you off. in the morning, basically. Yeah, and we'll I was just you. like, we'll see you tomorrow. so many bad things could have happened to me, you know? Listen. So anyway, anyway, tipsy. Man. It was a time. Tipsy. It was a time. It was a time. It was a time. All right. It was a time. All right. What you got?